so in indian tradition we call this statue called nandi nandi always guards the temple and it is always looking towards shiva so nandi is the kind of you know guard or servant a true servant a true god of lord shiva and he always guards the temple this is a so beautiful setup very simple yet elegantly done architecture at this point we cannot go and show inside the temple because it's not temple open hours but again i am so blessed to be around in this place and uh, i hope you are also enjoying you know the feel and the look of it thank you for staying with me and this is sivakesalayam near yerbalam vijayawada andhra pradesh india there are so many temples like this this is kind of very new it may not have much more historic you know prominence it might have just constructed like last 10 years or 15 years something like that but again this is going to be a um, you know something down the line for the generations to come i appreciate you know whoever is kind of trying to preserve the sanatana dharmam and everything it has taught us it has you know showed us um, you know the values and the morals and you know in order to kind of symbolize us to symbolize them you know we hindus come up with some speciality areas and each speciality area you know we assign a name and that's how we end up having a god uh, this might be too generous too general generalization sorry about my english um, but again uh, this is how actually you know something like you know i always taught kids whenever they ask a question you know from other cultures hey you know how you are why do you have so many gods you know i end up actually answering very simply sensibly the way the kids understand or the way i understood you know any area any anything learning what do we call as learning you know it has categories it has you know speciality areas right you know just like your math and physics Uh, chemistry you know biology or history things like that we call that as education so yes you know we have something called as god you know and then we go with the specialities you know and then specific requirements of the specific times of your life you know at some point you are more concentrating more about your health more about your peace more about prosperity you know your financial status you know your 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 generation you know the way you wanted to take it forward um you know studies right so like a million reasons you know a human has a million reasons so we can end up having speciality uh, areas and then we come up with that name and then we have some nice rituals uh perform in that proportion and that's how we end up having too many gods